Blue Table fans, we're looking at a Grey Knights project. Well, it's got some Necrons in it, too. Anyway, uh, well, let's just go through it. First off, we've got uh, 20 Grey Knights uh, infantry. Now, what's unusual here is that every last one has a magnetized head, like this, a little 1 8 inch in there. So it can be purifiers. In fact, uh, 20 of them are purifiers. Here's... Um, that many, and then there's more heads. Uh, yeah, on this stapler, yes, that's right, that's how I did it. And uh, then five unhelmeted. I think there's six, seven, eight total unhelmeted out of 40 heads. Uh, we've got some uh, Legion of the Damned, lots of varied sculpts here, uh, a lot of detail on those guys. One of each of the four assassins. Uh, those are a little dark because they're in front of the light, but. Anyway, a uh, nemesis, um, oh my gosh, I want to say a dread knight. Yes, that's what it is. Whew. Anyway, a uh, lot of decorative bases on these guys, little bits of uh, fallen timbers and rocks and, and whatnot. And uh, this is magnetized, by the way. Lots of little magnetized points for the hammer and the sword. This hand comes off. The other hand comes off. Now these are a little loose. Uh, the client's probably going to see this, but and I, I just wanted to say these are loose for a reason. They will articulate to admit the uh, other magnetized pieces, which are over here. So you have these things that go on his arms, uh, the two different heads for the weapons. There's your uh, thing, a third uh, ranged weapon. The rest of these are for what's called a Land Raider Triple, uh, which is this thing. This is magnetized, so it has these plates that uh, go on the side. It's hard to do this with one hand, by the way. But the plates come off, and then the different weapons will uh, turn and magnetize onto the uh, onto the housing there. Also, these things, because the uh, other variant Crusaders, uh, but they only go on a certain way. The magnets are uh, are juxtaposed there. So anyway, these uh, alternate. This hatch comes off, and uh, also has a little magnet to hold that on. Uh, back here we have Necrons. This is a really cool color scheme. I'd actually do this for my own Necrons. Uh, the blue on there is very handsome, highlights up real nicely. And the gray and the black is just so slick. Look at how these warriors look. That would be a great color scheme for Necrons. Uh, I would change this up, though, just a little bit. Uh, this is uh, as per client instructions, so it's kind of a Tron-like effect there. However, um, if it were me, I'd do like more gray paneling and stuff and uh, not so much the uh, lighting and edging. But anyway, it's certainly a handsome effect and uh, the model is, um, is, I do believe, painted up to specification. So anyway, I uh, just thought you guys might wanna, oh, and the, and the uh, Terminators. Ba -ba -da. So just thought you guys might like to uh, take a look at this project and, um, and there it is. So I hope that you have got your inspiration for the day.